I'm outside. This is day two, my first full day here, and I have a fire going to warm up. I've been cold all day. It, this is actually a bit of a disaster, bad planning. Um, I don't have any hydro. It, uh, the road is so bad, I guess that's why they didn't, didn't get down to confirm the meters here. And now it's Good Friday, nothing's open. So Monday I'll be calling and hopefully I can give them the information they need on the meter so they can turn the hydro on so that I at least have my little portable heater I can run. Thank God I bought a small propane stove so I can cook and I turn the, the burners on for a while just to try and heat the place. I got some candles going inside but that's the temperature gate. There's a thermometer inside. It's two, two degrees. So I've come outside. I lit a fire. I burned all my cardboard. So that stuff goes up like mad and created a bunch of heat. So that helped a little. I'm probably going to go sit in the car for a while and turn the heat on. Tomorrow they say it's going to be sunny. Um, I hope so because that'll make a huge difference. But I think I'm going to do some online shopping and it's possible that uh, I might have to get some sort of little stove tent or something that I can set up as a temporary measure. I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm still waiting to find that oval to round stove pipe adapter piece. That seems to be um, almost impossible thing to find. So I can't hook up the stove that I bought till I find that. So who knows how long that'll be. And boy, if I just had some sort of little wood stove inside this cabin, it would be such a game changer. So I might see, I could do curbside pickup for that. We'll see. I have no idea. I'm in Nova Scotia, so I don't know what the amenities are like here compared to Ontario. So I'm going to sit out here until this fire goes out. And uh, I got a lot done today in terms of just organizing the cabin. I had to keep moving because it was so cold. So I haven't washed at all. This is the first day I haven't actually put water or soap to my body. I'm not sure that I will. It's just too bloody cold. So we'll see. Um, actually, I might take everything out into the car. That's what I'll do. Actually, I'll take a change of clothes out there with me and wash down out there. At least get some cleanness on me. Put the heat blast in. But yeah, uh, clearly my planning, I didn't think this through. I should have brought me with me a, any stove that I could have hooked up quickly and easily um, because boy that would make a difference. Um, of course I'm missing Bessie thinking about her with the wood stove on board and I wouldn't have had any issues if I'd had her. Anyway again the uh, forecast is for a week of this cold wet so just miserable but if I can get some heat inside game changer otherwise I'm not sure if I'm going to survive this uh, ordeal. I can't imagine that the hydro will be that cruel once I talk to them and tell them that I've got a, you know, a hydro meter I'm looking at. I can take a picture. I can send it to them. Hopefully that'll do. I hope if somebody has to get out here, I, I'm hoping I can use my, my, uh, convince my skills in uh, convincing to let them know that it's literally an emergency situation. I need, I need hydro. I need heat. So. Anyways, it's the end of day one. I wanted a challenge. <laughs>